right, in today's video, we'll be looking at my new Uni MIG Viper 182 Mark II. Uh, this video will just be a very quick sort of unboxing, show what's inside it. The next video will be a bit more about the setup, getting it all working, and a few test welds, and we'll see how we go with it. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll just crack open the box and see what comes in here. All right, so first thing off the bat I see is the included regulator. It's a very sturdy, nice looking regulator that you handy to have straight up included. It's unusual that it's been opened like that. Looks like the owner's manual potentially yep so that's all about the regulator and how to use it and set it all up so that's a bit interesting must have fell out of the box and shipping it's a fair hose fitting on there too by the looks next thing we grab out is the mig torch itself Everything just feels really sturdy, heavy duty. It's got a big ball socket on there. It's pretty nice. A good trigger feels nice. It just feels very sturdy quality sort of iron. This is my first sort of proper welder. I've had your cheapo sort of SIG welds and stuff like that from super cheap and whatnot. Which they work all right for a purpose, but I decided to finally sort of get something a little bit more decent. Uh, so in this packet we have, looks like a couple rollers and a hose clamp. Um, so we've got a 0 0.9 roller, uh, 0 0.9, so it's a 0 0.9 U roller, 0 0.9 V roller. And a 0.8k roller with two clamps and I'm not 100% sure what the other one is but we'll get closer and have a look at that in a second see what it is this is the stick welding torch very sturdy again Same, very sturdy looking plug. All right, so what else we got down here? Looks like we got some really thick foam. That looks like the included gas hose. Very thick wool gas hose. Looks like it is braided as well, so it's got some nice strength to it. What else we got down here? Looks like a power plug and the foam. So now the heavy part. Down out of the way for a second. Down the bottom. We have the earth clamp, and this is a double sided earth clamp, so it actually has the braid that goes across the middle to connect both sides together. Really good quality to see that. the plug and then the full instruction and owner's manual so we'll have to have a go through that make sure we read it up make sure we're doing everything the right the way we're supposed to so get the box down out of the way and we'll grab out the actual welder itself so as we can see it's Pretty dense foam, nice and thick, sturdy, it's what I like to see. None of this thin stuff, even the hard stuff, I don't like seeing. Put this up out of here. Don't worry if you need a minute and we'll bring you on down for a closer look. Okay, so this is the front of the welder. These are the, well, I call them the infinity dials. There's no hard settings. It's just in between, so you can fine tune it as much as you like. There's your connections down there. 
that's what the spool gun connector looks like which is the one thing that i struggled to actually find online as to what plug that actually was so now i know what that is i'll be able to order my spool gun let's excuse the dirty workbench it's sort of just a workbench for everything at this stage it's the connector nice heavy duty The socket it's not going to flex and break real easy nice sturdy trigger very nice sturdy feeling gun doesn't feel cheap like some of the other ones that's the earth clamp it's got the braid in the middle to connect both sides so you get really really good connection on that one that's the stick torch Pretty straightforward. I don't know if I'll ever really be using that, but it's good to have just in case. You never know, you might get some heavy duty stuff one day. This is the included Unimig regulator. So that one there would be your bottle pressure. That would be your flow rate to the welder itself. Adjustable via the knob here. That one connects to the bottle. Pretty sure that one there connects to the uh, welder itself. So that's the front. So you come on around the back. That's the gas in. Power lead. Some of the specs there, but we'll run through that on a bit more information. Uh, these are the rollers. So that's a 0.8 V roller. It's a 0.9 U roller. So what that means is so this one in here is V groove. This one here's got a U shaped groove. And this one's a 0.9K, which I'm pretty sure is the flux core roller. The other thing that I'm not sure on that this comes with, and this will have to look at the instructions, is this little connector that I'm not too sure on. But that's coming up in the next video anyway, which is all about setting it up and making sure everything's working properly and laying down your first welds. Uh, so that should do it for this one. Oh, actually one part first let's pop open the side and have a quick look inside so in there shows what the uh, wire feed roller looks like so there's another roller in here 0.6 v roller and there's another one on the machine itself which i'll have to double check what that one actually is that's your tensioner Burn back adjustment and then the switch in there to convert it to standard or spool gun, which is something new to me I've never seen before. Can't wait to sort of play around with that once I pick up a spool gun. That's the side panel. Again, I'll get some better photos and details of this here. That's what your drive rollers are for. So I'll get some better pictures and stuff of that. That's your polarity setup. But I'll leave that for the next video. This is just a very quick unboxing and overlook. So just stay tuned. The next video will come out soon when I have this all set up. I just got to pick up a gas cylinder, which has been a little bit difficult to get, but I'll have one soon. It's on order. Uh, that's it for now.